In this video, I'll show you different ways you can bridge to StarkNet from any chain. There are many options available, so let's go over the fastest, easiest, and cheapest options that I know of. Welcome back to RankFi, where we explore crypto together. So StarkNet is an Ethereum layer two scaling solution that uses ZK rollups. It's built by Starkware, which has a pretty impressive ecosystem. Here are some statistics. And if we scroll down, you can see some of the projects using Starkware here, an impressive list. And the StarkNet ecosystem has lots of development, lots of protocols launching. So the prerequisites you're gonna need in this video are one, a StarkNet wallet, and number two, some Ethereum. StarkNet uses ETH to pay for gas fees, so you will need some ETH in your StarkNet wallet. So let's go over how you can do that. The two most popular wallets in the StarkNet ecosystem are Argent X and Bravos. You can use either wallet, it doesn't really matter which one. I have an Argent wallet, so that's what we'll use in this video. And everything I mentioned will be linked in the description of this video. So you can go to Argent Argent.xyz at this URL and set up your Argent wallet. If you're in Google Chrome, you'll click the Google Chrome to install the browser extension. And it's very simple. Just click add to Chrome and then it will be in your browser extensions. And it will look something like this, very basic, kind of similar to MetaMask pretty much. Go set up your wallet now. That'll take you a couple minutes. And once you're done, it's time to go to the next step, which is to choose a bridge. Now in this video, the best bridge I found is called Rango Exchange. This will also be linked in the description, but there are many bridges you can use that support the StarkNet ecosystem. For example, you can use something like RhinoFi, Orbiter Finance, LayerSwap, just to name a few. But the reason I think Rango is the best is it has the most blockchain chains so if we click on here you can see it supports over 60 blockchain networks which is more than any of the other bridges and they also have integrations for lots of dexes chains bridges wallets etc so lots of chains and low fees that's why i've been using rango and that's why they have over 2 billion in trading volume it looks like once you're on the website you're going to connect your wallet in the top right corner and you're going to connect your metamask or your non starknet wallet first so I have MetaMask, so I'm going to click the connect button. And mine's automatically connected because I've used Rango before. But if it's your first time connecting the wallet, you will have a MetaMask notification pop up and you just sign the transaction. After that, you can also connect another wallet, click this plus button, then connect the Argent wallet you just installed. They also have Bravos down here, which is perfect if you chose that wallet. But I'm gonna click Argent and it's connected as well. Again, you'll probably, you will get a pop-up if it's your first time connecting and you just sign that transaction. Next step in this two section, we're going to search StarkNet because that's where we're sending funds to and then select the network you want to send from. So if you have funds on any of these networks here, which is a lot of them, you can send funds to StarkNet. Now for me, I have some funds on ZK Sync, so I'm gonna send some Ethereum from there. Now, very important in this button here, make sure you receive Ethereum. If it's your first time using StarkNet, you have to have Ethereum to pay for gas fees. So make sure you send yourself some Ethereum. So I'm gonna send about 0.04 ETH. And in the bottom here, it says finding best route. And this is the cheapest route that Rango was able to find. And I can look at that to make sure everything looks fine. So now I'm gonna click swap if that looks good. It's gonna give me an overview of what's happening. The main thing you wanna look at is where it's going to. So it's going to your StarkNet wallet. The alternative is you can actually click this button and just enter your StarkNet wallet address if you can't connect your StarkNet wallet for some reason, but that's good. And then I'm gonna click confirm swap and it failed to confirm swap for some reason. Ah, I see. Okay, so I found the issue. It wants to send funds through Polygon, but I don't have any Matic in my Polygon wallet, so it wasn't going through. What you can do though is click refresh route and you'll see at the bottom, it'll try a different route for you. And I'm just gonna click refreshing it until it doesn't use Polygon. And there we go, there's another route here using Arbitrum. So I'm gonna click swap, confirm swap. And now it's in progress. You can click view details to see what's going on. So we can see the gas there, click confirm. And we're just gonna keep this open because it's gonna ask for another confirmation soon. Now it wants to switch to Arbitrum. And now we have another one. Now it's going to confirm the Arbitrum transaction. So we're gonna click confirm here. The gas fee is 73 cents. I'm okay with that, click confirm. And now we're just waiting for funds to go to StarkNet. This should take a couple minutes or less. And now we can see the Ethereum is in my Argent wallet over on StarkNet. Now it still hasn't refreshed on Rango, but that just took a couple minutes to show up in my wallet. Now option two is to use the native bridge, which is called Starkgate. Now I mentioned this because it's built by Starkware themselves, but it only supports a few networks. And then if you click the other chains here, it sends you to the other bridges that I mentioned in this video. But that's another option for you. I'll show you how to quickly use it. You just click connect wallets in the top right. 
and you'll need to connect both your Ethereum and StarkNet wallets to get started. So we connect our MetaMask, switch your network to Ethereum or whichever one you want to use, and then connect your StarkNet wallet. It knows I have Argent X installed. And there we go. And now you can just bridge funds back and forth. You would just enter the amount you want to send, click transfer, and then confirm it in your wallet. As always, if you're sending from Ethereum, the gas fee will be a lot higher. So just keep that in mind. But if you were okay with that, you would just click confirm and then the transaction will go through just like Rango or any of the other bridges. So I rejected that. Now, once you have funds on StarkNet, I'll give you some other resources. You can go to StarkNet-Ecosystem.com to explore hundreds of protocols. You can also go to DeFiLlama.com at this URL here to see some statistics on StarkNet. And if you scroll down, you can see the top protocols. So drop a like if this video was helpful. If you have any questions, I'll try to answer them in the comments and I'll see you in the next one.